Hey guys and welcome back to Vapor in the Attic. Today we're doing a juice review on Uncle Junk's Genius Juice, Betty White. There's the bottle. Um, for all reviews on this channel, uh, for juices that is, I will be doing all juices in zero nicotine so I can get the full flavor. Um, because the nicotine does numb your taste buds a bit. Um, so I will do all my juice reviews in zero nicotine, though I do vape on six or zero, depending. Um, and I will discuss my mod and what kind of a tank, uh, or RBA or Abbey that I'm using. Um, uh, today I'm using my telescope uh, mechanical mod, uh, which most mechanicals run at 3.7 volts. Um, and my tank has a low res uh, cardamizer in it, uh, which according to my EVIC it's running at 1.5 ohms. So I'm getting very warm smoke, which uh, I do prefer a little bit, it to be a little slightly warmer. Um, but anyways, let's talk more about uh, the juice. Uh, the bottle itself is uh, very nice. It's a glass bottle. A lot of people are hopping on the glass bottle bandwagon and they are sticking with the plastic uh, squeeze bottles. Um, this is a, a glass bottle. His whole line comes in 15 mil glass bottles with a dropper top, which is very nice if you're using uh, an Addy and you're dripping. Um, uh, it's a little harder though if you're driving and you're trying to do it, but um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I would say though that his flavor is very unique. This Betty White, the names that Jeff uses for all of his juices are women's names or they have some type of female origin. And that leaves a little bit more to question when you're buying the flavor if you can't test it. Uh, but most, most stores, most vape stores are going to allow you to, to sample the flavor, you know, through a juice bar or something like that before you buy it. Um, but it leaves a little bit more to question with the names and it's kind of, it's different but it's, it's kind of exciting at the same time. Um, when I met Jeff at the LA Vape Meet in February, I told him I was tired of the normal fruit flavors. Uh, I like anything. I like anything creamy, dessert flavors, uh, the more candy stuff, the fruit stuff. I like the whole, every, everything across the board I'm a fan of. And, um, but I told him uh, today I was looking for something more fruit orientated and um, I like stuff to be a little bit more unique and different because I was tired of the normal you know, melons and, and watermelons and strawberries and things like that. Um, I wanted something that was more unique and he gave me this and all he told me was that Betty White had a pomegranate base and told me to vape on it for a while and let him know what I thought. And after vaping on it for about a week now, I contacted him the other day and I asked him, you know, what's that other flavor? Is, is it apple? He says, yes, I put an apple extract in there with the pomegranate base and so that we get a little something extra. And when you are puffing on it, every puff you get a very not mild and not overly strong flavor. You definitely get the pomegranate, but you also get a little extra sweetness that kind of tastes slightly. I would say if you were to get warm apple juice like apple cider, it's it's got that vibe to it. The pomegranate plus a slight apple taste, which is very nice. It's different. I've yet to have anything else that compares to this. Um, but this flavor is not overly powered, and it's not too mild either. So I would say flavor strength, it's probably an 8 out of 10. And um, I've been vaping on this for about a week straight, and I have half a tank in here, and then enough to refill this tank one more time. And um, I, I do love to, to vape in traffic, you know, do a little bit of traffic vaping if I'm stuck in an hour worth of traffic. Normally, if I'm vaping on something, depending on what brand it is, 20 minutes later, I don't taste it that strong anymore. The flavor will drop down immensely. And I'll switch to something else, come back to the, to another, to the flavor that I couldn't taste anymore, and I still can't really taste it. With this, I'll be in an hour's worth of traffic, and I can taste the flavor the whole way. Every single puff, it's the same flavor time and time again. Um, though, I would be curious to know what this would taste like if it was like a full, strong flavor balls out like 10 flavor strength. But I think it's good that it's a little bit more mild because it keeps you from getting bored of the flavor, from getting tired. And um, just be because of that, the fact that it, the flavor is not too strong and I can vape on it for a long time without getting tired of it, um, I would give this flavor an 8.5 out of 10. Um, the flavors are very unique. Uh, I have yet to have anything else that compares to this. It's probably up there in some of my favorite flavors that are more sweet. Um, so Jeff did a great job uh, with this flavor. 
You can pick this up at your local vape stores. Uh, vape Supreme and Fullerton carries their full line. So does uh, Pure Vapor and Walnut. They also carry the full line of Uncle Junk's Genius Juice. Uh, his bottle's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. It's got the the uh, Jack Daniels logo on there, which is pretty cool. It's a little different. Um, but definitely check out Uncle Junk on Facebook and hit up Pure Vapor and Vape Supreme. That's it for this episode of Vapor in the Attic. I'll see you guys next time and keep vaping.